Hey there, folks. Thanks so much for joining us here on CBS News Today. I'm Errol Bonnet. And I'm Lana Zach. Here's a look at the top stories we are following for you right now. Chaos breaks out in the sentencing trial of the Buffalo supermarket shooting as victims speak directly to the attacker. A look inside the courtroom as the shooter is sentenced to life. The search for a motive. The Michigan State University community in mourning right now from this week's mass shooting there. What we're learning about the students who were killed. And the prosecution is preparing to rest its case in the Alex Murdoch double murder trial. This as the defense reportedly considers putting the disgraced attorney himself on the stand. And later for you, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley speaks for the first time since announcing her run for the White House. We're breaking down what to expect as she hits the 2024 campaign trail. Plus, remote work took over during the height of the pandemic, but empty offices are costing some companies and cities big time. We're taking a closer look at the, ec the economic impact of working from home. But we start in Buffalo. The man who killed 10 people at a supermarket last year has been sentenced to life in prison without parole. Peyton Gendron's sentencing came shortly after a man rushed at him as a victim's family member was delivering an emotional impact statement during today's hearing. You 